Hey, you came. And that was fast. Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought Wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. Oh. As for you, the Chief will decide your fate when we see him. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the Underworld. <laughs> You're about to come face to face with reality. Doctor lady? What's Natasha doing here? Things must be worse than I thought. Nat, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. I heard that the miners had been having violent clashes with local thugs, with significant numbers of wounded. I hurried over here to see if I could help. You see these people? They're all miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible deposits. <laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news! How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. I can understand your thinking. It's just that the underground is in difficult straits. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Oh. That's quite nice of you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people.
Giant ore vein, the one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on, let's get to higher ground and take a look. That person up ahead, is he asleep? Let's head up and take a look. He might need help. in a place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. Hmm. Uh -huh. Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. <gasps> Miss Sila! Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. Uh, further in, I guess. Those thugs took control of the vein ages ago, and they're fully armed. We poor, defenseless, Good folks were no match for them. It's only thanks to wildfire that the great mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a... for a nap. Hmm. Recognize that woman. That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get up there and see if she's wounded. Elaine! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. <sighs> You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots. But I don't know anything. Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. The new challengers enter! About time! Human-only conflicts are so boring. Does anyone know where the robots come from? At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines, but then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. <laughs> that 
There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. Then there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. You remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Svarog's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Robots aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey humans unconditionally. That's not the only thing you won't have heard of down here, princess. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it re responding? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? You idiot, we'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomara. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Who's the lucky one today? I told you I could fight. This is our chance. Clemency? Never heard of it. A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? Whoa! whoa! What the heck? Beep, beep, beep! Searching for potential user. Beep, beep, beep! Voice print detected. Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! But it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity. Beep, beep, beep! Whatever, whatever. So you aliens know about the International Peace Corporation? That's great! Beep, beep, beep! Self-introduction. I am Richard, the Home Use Object Finder. Model information. Version 0 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. A Home Use Object Finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store to conduct repairs. 
What? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Beep, beep, beep! Yes, yes, yes! When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy! That's me! Clemency? Never heard of it. <laughs> A gift from the stars. You have the worst luck running into me. Inviting you. Who's the lucky one today? I told you I could fight. Watch this. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. This is our chance. Better up. Uh, rules. Are made to be broken! You're out! Keep at it. Ask it for trouble, huh? The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Ch right. hm. Scared yet? <laughs> Let's make it quick. What about this? Step aside. I have no interest. <laughs> A gift from the stars. With me out here, how can we lose? <laughs> Try that again. Everything is ordained by the stars. Secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. You can't run. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. It's too late to repent. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Hey, what's that commotion? It sounds like there's a big argument happening. Let's get closer and take a look. Cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? We ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. 
You can't just find a huge chunk of Geomero and hog it all to yourselves. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. And you don't even try hiding it. Disgrace. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire are in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. <laughs> wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparag's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! I'm going too. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Aha! And who do we have, no have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Oh, shut it. This isn't your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. This is our chance. Goodness, you came. We were nearly, uh... <laughs> Nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. Your run-of-the-mill robots don't have a will of their own. Their aim is merely Svarog's aim. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the Underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? Th that can command robots? No, I I've never heard of anything like... Hm. Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> Sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? Right. There's unfinished business here. The chief is still down there. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? Hmm? I'll be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, 
We wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? Yeah, sure thing. But uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. like there's a roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, let's take a closer look. It's completely blocked by the mine card. What do we do? Can we blow it up? Easy. It belongs to the mining team. We can't just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a minecart. Let me see. Hmm. Even the pin connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. We need to find spare parts we can use nearby. We're wasting time. Beep, beep, beep! Friends, do you need to find something? Findy can help? How come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't your module thingy broken? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. Come on, input the name of the object you were looking for. Findy can help. Oh, well, aren't you confident? Ah, well, let me give it a try, then. Where's the input interface? Ah, found it. Minecart pin, minecart wheel set. Confirm. Just like that? Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. Beep, beep, beep. Match successful. Initiating search for lost item. Minecart pin. Beep, beep, beep! Item found. Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. History, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in. Beep, beep, beep. Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an Interastral Peace Appliances store. Beep, beep. Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an Interastral Peace Appliances store. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in Beep, beep, beep. Interastral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an Interastral Peace Appliances store. for when you want to visit an Interastral Peace Appliances store. Beep, beep, beep. Interastral Peace Appliances, 
your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep! Findy will create a calendar reminder for when you want... Beep, beep, beep! Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Entering sleep mode. Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. This little machine isn't half bad. Beep, beep, beep! What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Bindy? How convenient! So, next time Don Hum gets lost, we can just use Bindy to find him, right? Beep, beep, beep. Biological life form search is currently not supported. If you have any questions, please call Interastral Peace Appliances. Well, it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep! Initiating search for lost item, minecart wheel set. Beep, beep, beep! Item found! Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. Beep, beep, beep! Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an Interastral Peace Appliances store. Beep, beep, beep! Interastral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep! Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Entering sleep mode. That's everything! You were a big help, Bindy. Beep, beep, beep. It was nothing. Enter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Current search complete. <sighs> Entering sleep mode. Please recharge the home use object finder. We're pretty lucky, huh? Without Bindy, it probably would have taken half the day to find these parts. Well, not that long, but that little machine definitely made it a lot easier. All right, let's go back and fix the minecart. Are you gonna do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've gotta be self-reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. work. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives, but you know how to get your hands dirty. The cart is about to depart! The robots will have seized the road ahead by now. We should go carefully. One of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's go. Move carefully. with no manners, huh? Who's the lucky one today? Stay right there while I give you a present! Batter up! Try that again! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death. 
Revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> My turn! What's this? Let's go. Clemency? Never heard of it. A guest with no manners. Look out! Let's make it quick. What about this? Uh, rules are made to be broken! I have no interest in still <laughs> With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Huh. Try that again. Clemency? Never heard of it. I don't remember inviting you. Look out! Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! Stay right there while I give you a present! Let's make it quick. <laughs> You can't run! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! It's too late to repent. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant, this sanctuary. It's but a vision! <laughs> you have the worst luck running into- Watch this! Let's go. No manners, huh? <laughs> My turn. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Better up. Step aside. I have. I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> Try that again. You have the worst luck running into me. What about this? Uh, rules? Are made to be broken! You're out! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Keep at it. Keep at it.
Clemency? Never heard of it. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Scared yet? Who's the lucky one today? My turn! <sighs> Gotta try hard sometimes! Check out this awesome move! <sighs> Let's go. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking. A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! Stay right there while I give you a present! to me. Watch this! Better up! <sighs> uh, rules are made to be broken! <laughs> the truth of life and death. Revealed in an in this sanctuary is but a vision! even more spectacular. I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated. Never heard of it. I don't remember inviting the lookout. You have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. You're annoying. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Thank you. 
Bane. So this is what everyone is fighting over. Mr. Sparrow, it's such a massive vein. I've never seen so much Geomero before. Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of 7 days. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the or in question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparg to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparog. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team and Wildfire... They don't understand your actions. <sighs> if only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. Svarag! We haven't settled our final score. Sila, subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. This again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Swarog... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. And more fashionably dressed, too. Uh, hey, is he about to leave? What about the girl in red? We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! to me. Inviting you. <laughs> Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! My turn!
Clemency? Never heard of it. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! A guest with no manners, huh? Who's the lucky one today? Step aside. I have no interest in Look out! Let's make it quick. Clemency? Never heard of it.
carefully. To me. <sighs> Let's make it quick. What about this? <laughs> the truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary. It's but a vision! A guest with no manners, huh? Look out! My turn! Make it quick. Better up. Uh, rules are made to be broken. You must stay your welcome. Clemency, never heard of it. Go. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. I don't remember inviting you. Look out. Let's make it quick. Ha! Step aside. I have no interest. Phew. Not bad. How many of these big guys is Sparog hiding? A lot. Which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower.
Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zila. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> oh, Chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mine should be quiet for a while. And uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. <laughs> That's quite the tone to take on our first meeting. I won't forget you in a hurry. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the Overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the Underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This... Stellaron you speak of. Never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. Really, Sampo? You might as well try the Supreme Guardian. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar, who uses sweet words to deceive the Underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. Miss Overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the Underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. <laughs> Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against Wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, Wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Yeah, I remember hearing this world was invaded by the Legion hundreds of years ago. Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. <sighs> what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm. It's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. 
Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our Silvermane girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Uh, hey, that's not very polite. <laughs> it's fine. You aren't the first guest to have that reaction. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Gerda family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. Eventually, he actually did it. Have you seen that stylish Goethe Hotel? Strictly speaking, it's a branch of this grand hotel. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? Time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg... He seems sincere. What do you guys think? Mm. <sighs> Don't you have something cool to say? Like, appearances can be deceiving? I don't try to disagree, but if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the Cosmic Wild West. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> 
Anyone else sleepy? You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. I'll keep watch. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation, we didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you, it's just you're a Silver Mane Guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. Silver Mane Guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia. meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. voice again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. Who goes there? Show yourself! Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? Mm, I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? I see. Well, thank you for being sincere. In itself, it's a comfort to me. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. 
In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open, but the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. <sighs> I approved of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. Nobody knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place, with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, the quieter things are around you, the louder they are. I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. <gasps> Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, look at you swaggering in like the protagonist in your own story. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. 
Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> with you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit and you'll arrive there. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. 